Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Mr. KB. It's December 19, 20, 20, damn, I don't even know. I'm gonna say the 19th, 20th, 20th, uh, no, it's the 20th. December 20th, 2014. And I'm here to shine a little spotlight on this right here. Uh, this is gonna be the review as well. This is a Little Mac Amiibo. And what I mean by shining the spotlight is, when these were introduced, I thought, they were a stupid idea trying to capture on um, the 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 money grab the cash grab that is uh, Activision Skylanders and Disney Infinity. Now, for anybody who doesn't know what Disney Infinity is or um, Skylanders, basically, is you would buy a toy similar to this, but for their respective groups. Uh, Disney Infinity, obviously, Disney characters. Uh, Skylanders has their own uh, set of toys that are Skylanders. Uh, the way those work is you buy the toys, you buy the game that coincides with those toys. So for Disney Infinity, I believe they have three different versions. They have uh, Vanilla, which is the original. Well, they don't call it Vanilla, but that's what they call it in the game world. They got Disney Marvel and Disney 2.0, unless those two are connected somehow, but I don't think that they are. But either way, that is and for Skylanders. They've had Skylanders, Skylanders Giants, Skylanders Swap Team. And now they have a new one called Skylanders Trap Team, I believe. And they all have little toys that you buy placed in the game through a portal that they sell. This one is actually a little bit easier since if you have a Wii U, you technically already bought the portal when you bought the Wii U because it just touches to the um, controller itself. And I thought that was a stupid idea. But then this little guy came out, Little Mac. Now, this just pulls out my heartstrings. I, I love Little Mac. Um, the new Smash Bros. came out, and long and behold, my son getting into retro games started loving Little Mac as well. So when the Little Mac Amiibo came out, I bought it. I was like, why the hell not? And the way I understood these to work were that if you had a game that was compatible, such as Smash Brothers, Wii U, um, Super Smash Brothers for the characters that come on Super Smash Brothers and other games in the future once you program them in, that you would basically warp these little guys into the game and they would be like a customized fighter in the in the example of Super Smash Bros. Wii, you basically touch, you know, touch them on the controller, and you would basically have a little Mac that you would have to build up from scratch, that you can customize, build up from scratch, level up, and that you'd be able to take with you to, say, a friend's Wii U, touch it on his gamepad, and then you guys will see who did the better job at leveling up your amiibo, whether it be a Mac amiibo or a Yoshi or whatever. You know, who would win? The level 45 Mac or level 45 Yoshi, level 50, whatever. So I bought it. My son tried it out, told me how it actually worked. I thought, I swore up and down and I actually chewed him off for it that he did it wrong. And for that, I, I apologize to him greatly. Um, so then I tried it myself, did some investigation, and these work nothing like advertised especially in the storefronts because I bought this one at Best Buy's and the way these are advertised is false advertisement. The way these actually work is you basically for 13 to 14 bucks depending on where you go buy these you basically bought an AI controlled avatar. You put this on Wii U on Super Smash Bros Wii U and all you get is a little Mac that controls himself that you could either have fight for you as you level him up or fight alongside you as you level him up. At no point are you controlling and actually customizing your very own little Mac. You basically bought an AI avatar. When it comes to something like Super Smash Brothers, if you bought one of the, the characters that's actually compatible, a Yoshi, a Mario, a Princess Peach, all you get then is a costume for your Miis. And I haven't tried this because I don't have a Mario Kart compatible one. But outside of the costume, I believe it works the same way. Where you can level up those characters in their own perspective way. But I don't think it actually works the way. I think at that point, all you really do is get the costume. Now, I'm going to say this once and for all. is This is a very shitty practice. Sorry for the cussing. The way these are advertised, or the way that I'm explaining it to you, is that you would have some sort of control like a Disney Infinity. Like a... Skylanders trap team that you were able to be but to buy these toys and for a sense kind of control them make them your own um, You know, but they work nothing like that 
I mean, they're, they're nicely detailed, they're high quality, but for the 13, 14 bucks that I'm paying for this, I'm expecting Disney Infinity Skylanders type controls. I'm not expecting me to buy something that the AI is gonna control for me. I'm not expecting to buy a very easy mode in a sense. I'm not the type of gamer and I'm not raising the type of gamer. If he wants to play a game that's too hard, guess what? Get better at it. I'm not buying $13, $14 little statues for you to go through it. And you know what, to his credit, he actually didn't even go through with it. Because he didn't like the fact that he had to just stand there and watch something that he wasn't controlling level up and try to make him more powerful. He fought alongside of it, so that, so that in a sense, worked out for him. But this is easy mode. This, 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 man, I, I just cannot believe that Nintendo would do something like this. I, I really can't. Um, I mean, they suckered me in because it's little, it's little Mac. It's little Mac. I love little Mac. I grew up a little Mac, you know, and, and from, from a figurine standpoint, it's very high detail, very high quality. And I would buy this, no lie, six, seven bucks easy and not have any problem with it. But for twice that price and being promised and advertised in a way that's supposed to function that it actually does not function, I'm more than a little upset. Now, if you guys want to see how it functions, I already have uh, Smash Bros. set up. So I'm going to set this up real quick. See, let's get up here. So if you see here, I got Smash Bros. You guys won't be able to see the actual Wii controller because... Well, you know what? Let's see if I can pair it up. So basically, if you have one of these, you already have the, the transport. If you look underneath the crossbar, sorry, it's a little dark. The light is a little off. But underneath the D-pad, there's a little receiver there. And if you see right now, nothing. There's, there's no users. There's no whatsoever. So once I get the Amiibo and touch them down on the controller, you see little Mac pop up. Uh, we call him Tiny Maxter when my son did. He's at level 15. FP, I don't know why it's, I'm going to assume it's free player. I don't know what. But look, this is, this is, this is me controlling you see my level one hand moving around the screen i can't move or select if i come down it stays as as see that's player one if i do none little mac and i can't that's not my character now if i try to battle against him i can't do it it's only cpu two or none so basically what this leads into and i'm going to put this at level one Unless I actually plug in another controller, I can't even fight alongside my Amiibo. So if all I have is this, basically I just bought a demo of Little Mac leveling up. So there's a CPU 2, there's Little Mac that's tied to the one controller that you're given on the Wii U, and I'm ready to fight. Uh, I gotta pick a level. I think all the customer did pick the boxing ring. And there's Little Mac. And I have this is basically all I see on my on my on my on my tablet here because I have no control over him. If you look, look, it's laying flat on my hands. You see little Mac, and that's all he does. He fights for you. He levels up on his own. The only thing you can do is basically treat him like a virtual pit where you're gonna feed him equipment to level him up and tweak his settings just a little bit. But that's all you're getting for 14 bucks is a licensed virtual pet for the for for games of this ilk that's all you're getting and that is very upsetting because that is not the way that these things are advertised these things are advertised as a way to customize fighters in the game so you can take to your friend's house and see who's better at customizing other than this this is like i said this is easy mode and this is complete and utter trash and for that sake it's over and so is this, and so is this review i'm going to give the amiibos as a functioning as a functioning toy or a functioning whatever the hell you want to call it I'm giving it a one out of five stars if this was a statue or a little figurine that was collectible I'd easily give it a four but as it is as it stated as advertised one out of five Nintendo code something better fix this and make it better because this is honestly one of the 
biggest ripoffs in gaming right now, and I'll claim it right now. One out of five stars. Hope this has been helpful. This has been Mr. KB, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.